Hi, this is Ken Chan from Swisspack Resources and Neighborhood. We are Rui and Rui In and working products, sub based in Malaysia. Please remember to subscribe, like and share to your friends if you find this tutorial is useful for you. Today, I'm going to share with you on how to configure the brand new Wi-Fi 6 Rui Jie Rui E EW 1800 GX Pro Home Router. Before you start, make sure you install Rui Jie Cloud which you can be download from your iOS store or Google Play store. Remember to activate the account and sign on before we start this. Now back to the configuration. At your phone, make sure you on the Wi-Fi, the location and disable the mobile data. Run the Rejay Cloud app. Click skip, click on the projects, click add, choose yes. Now, make sure that your router is uh, hooked up to the modem. The one port, you have a cable connecting directly to the ISP modem and then power on the unit. Make sure the blue light is completely light up before we proceed to the next step. Once you've done that, click start. It will in, uh, illustrate to you to connect to Elias Rijie SSID to start, which is the default SSID for us to configure. Click connect. It will detect your Wi-Fi. As you can see from here, the first SSID is the one that we are looking for. Click that. Now, it will auto pop up this page. However, do not click the configure button. Instead, you click the, the back button of your mobile phone. Click back. Back again. Okay, choose yes to continue. Click start config. Give it a project name. I call In this case, I call it Wi-Fi 6. Management password is your router password. Give it a password. Remember, yeah, not to use admin admin. Scenario, choose home, since this is a home-based pro product. Next. This is the part whereby you are setting up your internet connection. Normally, we will go to BBPOE, and if you are using Unify, you will be using username alias Unify password as per given by the TMNet. Or Maxis, you go with the Maxis user ID and password. But remember, you have to click on the 802.1Q tag for Unify, which is port 500. For Maxis, it's 621. But for time broadband, you just need to put the username and password and you don't need the function of the 802.1Q tag. In this tutorial, I'll be using DHCP since there are firewall on top of this router. Click next. One successfully connected to the internet we will do run the speed test. This is just a connectivity test, yeah, and it's not accurate uh, according to your subscription package. By right, our of my office line is hundred meg download and fifty meg upload. This is just a connectivity test. So click next. Okay, this part is whereby we are going to allocate a brand new SSID for our internal use. So, what are you going to name your Wi-Fi is this part. So, for example, I call this AX. Okay, then I want to put a Wi-Fi password so that nobody can simply use my line.
country region code Malaysia click save it will automatically push all the settings to the router and configure accordingly give it about 30 seconds and it will be done so now the router is being configured and we need to connect to the brand new Wi-Fi that we just created click connect AX double check we are connected click back done so basically this is the main interface of our home router configuration page and the mobile application so you can just slide up from this app just slide up and you can have all the tools available for you like for example to change your Wi-Fi password you can do it from here enable the 5G prior is for giving priority high-speed connection to all the brand new devices that are 5G capable to check the password or change is from here click save go back to the Wi-Fi 6 click on site Click on the radio settings to choose the proper country region and the signal optimized for our country. So in our case, we go for Malaysia. Click OK. For 2.4, normally I will suggest you to go for 20 megahertz. In, uh, if your house is big, go for 20. If your house is small, go for 40. Because at 20, you, it will give you more reach. For 40, you have more speed. So in this case, I will go for reach. Auto is not suggested to use because of the fluctuation of the performance. For 5G, I will always go for 80. 160 is not supported for this model. And click save. It will take effect in 5 minutes time once it's flushed out to the router. And configure itself thanks for watching remember to subscribe